Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel. Are you tired of monsters that move too much? Are you tired of your teammates missing their big hits to kill the boss much quicker? Do you want your hunts to run more smoothly? Then this build might be for you. Today, I'll be sharing some of my current builds for Paralysis Dual Blades. Before I begin, I just want to share that these builds are not at its most optimal state because of my current talismans. I also made these builds based on my playstyle which is more of team play since I prefer playing with my friends. If you're looking for a more damage oriented gear, you might want to check my dual blades elemental build instead. So let's begin. So for my paralysis build, we have very limited options. For the weapon, I chose the Reign of Gore, since it has the highest paralysis available for the dual blades. The weapon has 19 paralysis status with 1 level 2 and 1 level 1 slot. So let's go over the builds. So for the first armor build, for the headgear we're using Volvidon S. For the chest we're using Almadron S. For the arm piece, we're using Tigrex S. For the waist, we're using Utsushi HS. Or for the females, it's Channeler. For the foot gear, we're using Goss Harag S. The talisman I'm using is Paralysis Attack 1 with Weakness Exploit 2 with no slots. But actually, all you really need is the Paralysis Attack for this build. This set without decorations gives you Agitator 5, Paralysis 3, Bludgeoner 2, Mind's Eye 1, Razor Sharp 2, and Power Prolonger 1. To maximize this build, you will need these decorations. 2 Mind's Eye, 3 Speed Sharpening, and 3 Flinch Free. Together, this build gives you Agitator 5, Paralysis Attack 3, Mind's Eye 3, Bludgeoner 3, Speed Sharpening 3, Razor Sharp 2, Flinch Free 3, and Power Prolonger 1. So, the advantage of this build is, even if you are no longer at blue sharpness, you can still hit hard and not bounce off the monster. Then, when you have an opening, you can do your sharpening. So let's move on to build number 2. This build maximizes your sharpness at blue compared to the other one. The advantage of this build is that you will always deal more status because of the blue sharpness multiplier. For this build, simply swap out the arm piece, the Tigrex, to Sinister. So this set without decorations gives you Paralysis Attack 2, Handicraft 2, Razor Sharp 2, Power Prolonger 1, Mind's Eye 1, and Agitator 5. You will need these decorations. 2 Attack Boosts, 3 Speed Sharpening, and 3 Flinch Free. This set gives you Agitator 5, Paralysis Attack 3, Speed Sharpening 3, Flinch Free 3, Attack Boost 2, Handicraft 2, Razor Sharp 2, and Power Prolonger 1. Like my other previous builds, you may actually switch out the Flinch Free 3 for Stun Resistance 3 instead. This is a preference because I don't like getting hit by random players online. So these builds both have advantages and disadvantages, but in most cases, I'd actually choose the build number 2. If you're dealing with a monster that has tougher skin, then I'd go for build number one. Here's a quick demo for this build.
So, what do you think of this build? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and see you in my next hunts.